Hello, welcome back, Fred in the Shed One, and in this video we're going to have a closer look at this little digital 4.3 inch LCD microscope. Now this came from eBay, there are quite a few models available, uh, generally the microscope tends to be the same, it's just the mounting that determines the price, and these are available with a sort of flexi goose head mounting from uh, about £26 going up to about £36 if you go for the uh, full aluminium rack and pinion mounting which we've got here. Quick explanation to what you get in a box, firstly you do get a set of instructions, um, a bit of a mix between uh, sort of uh, English and Chinese but it will get you started. Also comes with a 5 volt plug in the wall power sort of adapter there, uh, mine did come with a, with a separate adapter to, to convert that to UK but you, you aren't likely to use that because it comes with a normal sort of 5 volt USB lead which you can use your phone charger or the perhaps your laptop. You also get a little allen key there which helps with the construction of the rack and pinion aluminium mount and then you get the uh, sort of microscope itself um, it doesn't come with an SD card, but uh, it does have the ability to record video from an SD card. Right, we'll just run through some of the specs. Um, it's quite light, just weighs in at uh, 500 grams. You've got a 4.3 inch LCD screen, has a 3.6 megapixel sensor. Does claim to go to uh, 600 magnification. I'm not so sure about that. I think that includes the digital zoom, so maybe you know usable magnification of sort of 200, something like that. But uh, yeah, no, it is pretty uh, pretty good. It's certainly good enough for sort of hobbies. Comes with eight LED lights here, which go around the lens to give you sort of some illumination. Battery-wise, it's got a 3.7 lithium-ion battery. Takes uh, about four hours to fully charge, and then gives you about six hours use time. Now, as I mentioned, the little microscope does have an SD slot, so you can record video and pictures, and this might be quite useful if you sort of upload onto the internet, if you do a vlog, or you know, YouTube, or sort of Facebook, something like that. You can adjust the resolution from which you want to record in. Video-wise, it will run at full 1080p. You can flip down to 720p, and uh, to save the memory, you could just go down to sort of VGA. If you want to take photos, they, they come out at 5 million, 2 million and 1 million pixels. Just a quick look at the uh, sort of menu systems that you've got in this. Obviously you can change the resolution now going from 1080 all the way down to uh, VGA. And then you can sort of put the date and the time. It does have a uh, motion detector which will in instantly record the moment that the sensor picks up kind of motion. I, I don't know about that. I don't know if that would sort of uh, work all that well. And then moving into the sort of settings, you can sort of format the card, language settings, auto power off, which is sort of quite useful. And then it just has some sort of like novelty sort of screen savers. So, you know, pretty basic, but pretty much all that you need is As I mentioned there. earlier, the sort of uh, microscope module itself is pretty much the same. What you're paying for on a slightly more expensive model is this sort of aluminium rack and pinion sort of mounting and you know overall it's it's pretty good actually it is pure sort of you know aluminium there's no sort of plastic involved in the mounting itself and uh, there is a little bit of play in the rack and pinion drive that's a little bit disappointing i'll probably will put a little bit of grease on mine we'll try and take some of that sort of play out there is a uh, tensioner here so you can sort of adjust the tension but even with the tension sort of uh, you know fully uh, fully tightened there is still a little bit of play but once you take the play up it is quite smooth um, no, you know, no, I, I think no sort of problems at all, especially when you think at a price point, you know, £35 just over, it's not exactly a lot of money. So it's not the most precision sort of instrument, but uh, yeah, it does work. And I, I would recommend probably spending that extra £8, you know, maybe $10, and uh, go for the sort of rack and pinion sort of, you know, drive there. I think that's a lot more stable than uh, having this on a gooseneck. Yeah, there are eight LEDs, which has a continuous brightness adjustment, which is quite useful for getting the sort of contrast right. It's, yeah, it's okay. It's, it does, you see, it's not quite linear. It does sort of every now and then flicker down to the next level. Um, but, uh, yeah, I found that sort of, you know, per perfectly useful. I'll test some of the magnification now. Now, this is at its lowest magnification. And as you can see, I've got a little 5P piece there. On the, uh, on the base. To again focus, you just sort of turn this sort of central wheel here, and it's quite smooth. I was quite sort of surprised how sort of smooth it was. Um, the LCD screen is, uh, is pretty sharp. I've got no complaints at all at this price level. Um, you know, no sort of, sort of burnout or anything like that. As I said before, you can adjust the LEDs here, up and down, 
uh, sort of gives you different levels of sort of contrast. But certainly for things like, you know, if you're doing soldering or so if you're maybe sort of, you know, watch repairs, something like that, um, yeah, it's, it, even at its lowest sort of magnification, certainly uh, pretty useful. I will do a video test at the end and we'll take a couple of pictures and then I'll upload, upload those and we can have a look. Okay, let's move in now to about half magnification power. So this is just about half its full magnification. And you know, once again at half magnification, yeah, absolutely fine. The, the you know, you've got to be a little bit careful. Um, the sort of microscope itself, you know, is only really a friction fit in its mounting. I suppose you could maybe put a little bit of uh, super glue just to hold it there. So it does tend to sort of move around just a little bit when you do the focus. But uh, that aside, absolutely fine as you can see the screen there uh, really really sort of uh, crystal sharp so what we can do now we're going to move into its full uh, full magnification and we'll have a look at that and there we go that is about the full magnification on that coin obviously we've zoomed right into the word pence there and again yeah absolutely you know absolutely fine you can achieve a pretty good uh, sort of focus just using the sort of fine focusing wheel there and the viewing angle is pretty good as well you know you don't have to sit directly in front of it you can sort of view from the side or from the top and I think you'll agree that is quite an impressive focus whether that is um, you know whether that is sort of 600 times at that mag for that focus I'm, I'm not really sure but the fact that it does sort of focus that sort of clearly at that level of magnification certainly makes it very very useful for very intricate sort of hobbies that's probably like surface mount sort of technology soldering things like that or very very fine sort of uh, maybe watch repairs stuff like that but uh, yeah I've, I've got to admit you know for 35 pounds um, totally totally impressed with that performance here's some uh, video shot using the built-in SD card and yeah really really useful this feature as I said before especially if you upload onto the internet this could really sort of uh, you know help your sort of website or perhaps your sort of vlog page or something um, certainly if you're working with things that are quite intricate and uh, yeah I mean in moving it around here that there's no sort of you know juddering or sort of frame loss or sort of rippling on the CMOS sensor or anything like that and uh, yeah overall um, uh, pretty good I <laughs> can't really sort of complain for this sort of uh, money right okay can I just take a couple of photos now so here's a couple of photos claims to be 5 million pixels can't really confirm or deny that but uh, certainly look pretty clear and as I said uh, certainly usable if you want to upload these to the internet one thing that I've just noticed is that when you take a picture and I quite like this is that you have to press the uh, little button there on the side of the sort of microscope but it does give you a nice delay you can move your hand out of the way and then it takes the picture so everything sort of you know steadies down there's no sort of shaking things like that so that's quite a good well thought out feature so uh, well done for whoever wrote that in the software there you go that's really about it what can i tell you it's a very cheap little lcd microscope um and it seems to work really really well like i said you know it's a little bit sort of rocky perhaps on its mounting um that's just sort of down to the price really but certainly usable i mean myself you know i'm sort of my eyes are getting a little bit sort of dodgy now for doing things like fine sort of soldering on circuit boards stuff like that uh, this is going to be an absolutely great help save for straining the old bins there with the magnifying lenses so i hope that's been useful um, i'll leave a link to this in the description uh, where i've got mine but of course if you go on ebay and you search lcd microscope you will get a lot of these sort of uh, come up and you probably get a slightly better deal than uh, i did but of course as for now Cheers, thank you for watching, hit that subscribe button, lots of more stuff like this coming up on Fred in the Shed 1. But as for now, as always, thanks for watching, stay safe, and of course, I'll catch you all on the next one. <laughs>